What's up guys? So I am on my way to the garden. Last night we actually uh, <laughs> had a mishap with this uh, fencing that I was just telling you guys that it keeps out my uh, that it keeps out my dogs. So last night my son and I came home and actually saw that um, <laughs> one of our dogs were outside of this netting looking in so I thought there was an animal in here. Come to find out it was our Great Pyrenees. He uh, ate a hole through the back gate right there where those bags are and somehow got inside. I thought that he had uh, walked in from around the front because there is an opening and sometimes if my son was in here he would try to come in here through that way but there's an actual like big hole through there so he ate his way in and dug up two of my beds so one of my tomatoes along the fence have uh, died um, fortunately that is the only um, that's the only plant that uh, died <laughs> Um, I was very worried when I saw him in here that he <laughs> would have made a bigger mess, but he didn't. So they are not allowed to come back out with no supervision uh, until we get the rest of our permanent fence up. We do have the um, wood. We already bought the wood and we already bought the fencing. My, son, my husband just has to dig the, uh, the holes um, and get the fence up. So right, uh, not this bed this bed right here where I had a grand marshal you can see right there where he dug it up we tried to throw the soil back in there as much as possible he also dug that hole right there where I had melons he didn't touch the melon spot but right in front right there so my uh, son right now is getting more soil and we're gonna fill those uh, spots back up Tomorrow I'll actually be going to visit another farm, so if you guys have any guesses, I'll be interested to see uh, where you think I'll be going. Leave it in the comments down below. But I was out here and I was looking on my cattle panels that I planted out with the beans and the melons, and I saw that there's a few spots where melons haven't popped up yet, so I want to go ahead and get more seeds in the ground. If you watched that video, I only planted one seed per hole, and germination is not guaranteed 100%, and so the spots where I am not seeing anything germinating, I'm going to go ahead and plant another seed just so that I know, um, you know, that I'm not waiting too long because I do want um, these cattle panels to already start producing. I also brought out my corn seeds because um, I want to get my corn in the ground. I also brought out my zinnia seeds and we're just going to be out here. I think we still have about two hours uh, before before it gets dark so whatever we can get planted and that amount of time that's what we'll be doing yesterday my husband did finish uh, building our rabbit hutch so we'll walk back to the side where it's gonna be sitting and look at it so it's going to be sitting at the side of my glass room right here it is four cages um, I didn't build the cages I ordered it from KW Cages, I feel like, is the name. I'll leave it down in this description box. But I decided on this area because we have the overflow hanging right there. Um, it was either between this area and this side area right here, but this side area is not as wide. So I chose this area to keep them protected. And because this side of my house is always shaded like most of the time and rabbits can easily get um overheated so i decided that this would be a perfect area we are going to have to cut down these two bushes i have no idea what they are anyway and i didn't want them there so um so that we can easily get into our rabbit cages but i'm happy with how that came out and excited to get rabbits i had hinted that we're getting new animals and um, we are going to get rabbits, but rabbits are not the first animal that we'll be adding uh, to the farm. But in the future, we do plan on getting rabbits, so that is why uh, we had the rabbit cage. I just came over to check on the meat chickens and they seem to be doing good. We actually ordered um, more 
uh, Premier One fencing and another charger um, so that we could expand this uh, chicken area for our egg layers. And uh, these are the ones that are producing eggs right now. But then right next to them, we, uh, my husband built this for our baby future egg layers. There are 25 of them. And um, we put them in here. Last night was their first night out. And they're doing really good. Our baby future egg layers are only maybe, maybe they're a month now or three or four weeks. I'm not sure, I lost count but they're definitely not big enough to join the big layers, but they were definitely big enough to start uh, hopping out of their brooder and trying to fly around the garage. So we took them out, but the ducks are still in there. So I'm back here uh, separating my corn seeds. So I have corn that you can grind for uh, corn meal. Then I have popcorn and I have sweet corn and I have Indian and like glass gem corn that is just used for like decorations. And I'm thinking about using these three beds for corn, one, two, three, but right now they have containers and stuff on them. So I would need to like move all of this, clean it up and add in some amendments and then plant my corn here. I could do sweet, a bed of sweet corn, a bed of popcorn and a bed of like maybe that grinding corn. I don't know if I have enough uh, to plant a whole bed of the popcorn or of the grinding corn, but I could um, maybe mix the popcorn and the grinding corn together and then do two beds of sweet corn. Okay, so I got these three beds prepared. I had my daughter help me. She did most of the moving of the pots and we just set them back right here. I leveled out the spaces and I added in, um, this is a bucket of blood meal and azomite. I just added it in there and tried to rake it in. I also had put um, any plants that had dried out or uh, didn't germinate, I had threw in um, these beds. And so it did have like a lot of dry clumps of this potting soil seed starting mix so I am going to water in these three beds first and then we'll start making the marking with my seed square that my seeding square that I use because corn can be planted nine per square feet since uh, corn can be nine per square feet, this is a three by six bed, which is 18 square feet. So you times 18 times nine, I think that's about 162. So I can fit 162 corn seeds in each bed. So since I just did that math, now I know that this only has uh, approximately 40 seeds and this is the grinding corn um, where you said, where it says that you can allow them to dry out and then grind them and store them. And then, um, so this is 2040 popcorn. I don't know how much is in here, but I'm guessing that's not gonna fill up a whole bed either. So maybe I would just do sections uh, between the popcorn, I have the corn for the corn meal, and then I have decoration corn. So maybe I'll do one whole bed of all three of these, and maybe that would be 162 to fill out a whole bed. And then the other two beds, I'll just do sweet corn. I have honey and cream in here. And I also have early golden, which is just a Dollar Tree pack. And I also have this uh, evergreen sweet corn, which comes with 150. So this would almost fill up a whole bed. Um, and then I have all of those corn seeds at the bottom. So I definitely have enough sweet corn. Uh, to fill up two beds. I actually just found this. This also can be ground into cornmeal and it has 150 and I found this. This doesn't seem like it has 20 in it so maybe I planted this already but this also is cornmeal. So I think I actually have enough, um, I do actually have enough of this cornmeal to plant a whole bed. You can totally see that I'm just working this out and <laughs> planting as I go. I didn't plan this or anything. So I actually won't have any Indian corn which is fine by me. Um, oh wow, those are big.
So my daughter just went and pulled up the rest of the turnips. Show them. Yeah, those are pretty big. Okay, so I watered in the three beds and then I started making indentions. I didn't need every single one indented because um, I'm just going to be uh, eyeballing the nine per square feet. So if I just have a, 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 you know, I could use that square for that one and so on and so on. And so I'm going to get the planting. The first one I'm going to plant is, um, let's see, the first one I'm going to plant is the um, grinding corn. So that is these three packs and I know I said I could fit 162 and this will be 150, 70, 90, 210. This would be 210 seeds. So I'm going to just, uh, since not everyone is going to pop up, I'm going to start with this Jimmy Red and then fill in with um, one pack of the Earth Tone Dent and one of the japonica striped because there's not 20 seeds in there i think i already used some and yeah and then when i they start germinating if i see that there's any sparse germination i'll fill in with whatever i have left and the second bed is going to be popcorn so i'll sit that there and then last we have the two, three different types of sweet corn had my daughter go ahead and at the end of each cattle panel she planted uh, mammoth sunflowers so there's gonna be two mammoth sunflowers here and two right there and she did that for every cattle panel at the end of it I actually um, wasn't thinking and I was going to do one side with uh, sunflower seeds and one side with okra but I just had her do mammoth sunflowers on each side which is totally fine I'll just find a new area for my okra to go at this point it's just like get all the things in the ground so that i can, <laughs> can just start watering them in so i went ahead and poked uh, holes in uh roughly poked holes in and i just have one more bed but i think i'm going to get one of my kids to start putting um the seeds inside of the holes while i finish um planting or marking this one Yay, so we got the three beds planted. My daughters are just working on covering the last uh, bed of sweet corn. And I was able to use um, this whole pack of honey and cream and then this early one. And then I only used a little bit of the Haas seed ones down there. So I do have a little bit of seeds for um, each bed if any uh, corn does not sprout. And then I'll just uh, plant in plant more and hopefully the other corn that's planted won't grow uh, big enough and like shade it out so that it won't grow but hopefully they'll all grow together. The sun has very much gone down. Uh, I have my son inside starting on some noodles for dinner tonight and so we are going to call it a night. Uh, I'm so happy that we were able to get the corn beds and the sunflowers uh, planted. I think that was all. Oh we replanted some beans. Actually, before I go inside, I will replant the melons that didn't come up, and um, and we'll call it a night. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.